Fright Talk. Uh, I'm here with Scotty Cardo at the press conference. How's things, mate? All good, pal. Good to go, yeah. I'm ready to go. But now it's, I've just seen my opponent, so I'm quite happy. I didn't know anything about him, didn't know what he looked like. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. It's been a good day. Um, how's preparation been going? Um, going perfect. Yeah, going perfect. I feel like I'm ahead of schedule. Um, that's a good thing. Is my, my weight's perfect and my fitness is just topping up now. So, um, just uh, we've got four weeks graft to go now. So I'm, I'm quite happy with the, the prep. Um, your last fight, um, you beat Kevin Hooper. Um, Robbie Barrett was defeated him there. But did you manage to see any of the fight at all? No, Not a thing. Uh, I was told. Um, I was told to go. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I didn't end up going. I think it was the Bell you and David Hay that nah. took me off it, but a bit daft on my part. Um, but like, I've just got to think, like, Kevin Hooper's not a bad fighter, you know what I mean? He's, a, he's only lost to the best, like I said before. And um, to, beat, to, to beat Kevin unanimously, um, it's good going, so I've, I've got to prepare myself for the best South Park I can. Um, as you said on stage here, um, if you win on the 15th of April, you'll get to keep. Um, the British title, how, uh, how big is that to you? Massive, it's something I've always wanted as a, as a kid starting off in the game. It's, um, I remember um, some old boy coming into my gym when I was about 10 years old with the British and it was just an incredible feeling just holding it. So to have that on my mantelpiece for life is, is just a special thing all in all. It's, it's, it's more special for my family than anything. So um, it, it, it's something that I've always wanted and it's got to be done. It's, I've got to put a show on on the night and when it when it when it, when it, like, when it convincingly, you know what I mean, just got to do a good job of it. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Dodgy match, it was a draw and you thought that you might have got to keep the British title. Did that kind of mess with your head a wee bit when uh, things came out after it? Well, um, the Dodgy match would have been my second defence. Mm -hmm. So the Kevin Hooper fight, that, that's what I thought would, would have been the, the early defence. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that until after the fight, to be honest. I was told um, sh shortly after by the board that that, that doesn't count. So um, I, it, I wouldn't say it took me off off my game. Really, it was just it's just it's just going to take longer to to carry on. You know what I mean? It's going to take longer to stay at this level, which I'm I'm quite happy to to defend our right. I don't want to I don't want to skip that stage really. Uh, I'm in no rush, I'm 27 now, I've still got a good few years left in me. Um, I'm hoping to be fighting at European level by the end of the year, so uh, I've just got to make sure all my all my performances are, are right in order for this, for a British level, so I can move on happily. Um, I appreciate your time, Scott. Um, I wish you all the best on the 15th of April. Um, and thanks again for talking to Fight Talk. Thanks very much, Paul.